What's good, everybody? In my video today, I'm going to be talking about solving multi step equations with variables on both sides, and we're going to look at some very common mistakes that students make. So, when we start off with this problem, guys, anytime we see parentheses, we should always know that we're going to distribute, meaning multiply. But one common error that I see students make when they're distributing is occurs in a problem like this. So after they distribute and they get negative 10x plus 30, they sometimes think that, hey, I'm supposed to take negative 10 and also distribute it to four. But that's wrong, guys. Remember, we only distribute to what is inside the parentheses. So four is gonna stay the same and it comes down. Now at this second step, another thing I, I normally see is students start trying to move things from one side to the other. And you can do that, that is fine. But a better thing to do is to simplify each side first. So if there's no like terms like on this left-hand side, we're gonna keep it the same. But if we do have like terms, we're gonna simplify. Now at this step, when everything is simplified, meaning there's no like terms on the same side of the equation, now let's start moving things on one side to the other. So we're gonna add 10x on both sides. Once I do, I'll have 18x minus 2 is equal to 34. We should know, hey, we have another like term, and the variable is not by itself. It's not by itself. So let's get it by itself by moving 2 to the other side. So we have 18x is equal to 36, and our final answer would be x is equal to 2. So we're moving on to the second problem now, guys. And I'm going to drop a few more important gems for you guys in this second problem. But before I do, nice that you guys smash the like button for us if you found this video helpful so far. So in our second example, there's a few things that I'm going to touch on. So number one, let's pay attention to here. So guys, when you see something like this, we still have to follow the principle of distributing. So 5x stays the same. But imagine this was a negative one here. What's gonna happen is we pay attention to the signs only inside the parentheses. X becomes negative because it's positive inside. 18 becomes positive because it was negative inside the parentheses. A second thing that I always see students do is when we have a problem like this, they wanna subtract, meaning they're gonna do six minus two to get four, and then they're gonna take four and multiply it by X and 15. But that's not correct, guys. Order of operations still applies, meaning we need to multiply first. And yes, this 2 is negative. So 6 stays the same. We get negative 2x minus 30. Now, let's start cleaning up the equation. So we're on the left-hand side. We have 4x plus 18 is equal to negative 24 minus 2x. Now, at this step here, just understand, guys, what we do to one side, when we start canceling out values, what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Just don't forget that, because I see students forget. So this is what I mean. So I'll subtract 18x, and then sometimes students will forget to subtract 18x from its like term, or they'll try to subtract it from the variable. Just remember, guys, they're not like terms. We're going to get 4x is equal to negative 42 minus 2x. We're going to combine our x's by moving 2x to the other side. And what we're going to have is 6x is equal to negative 42. And just remember, guys, variable constant have to be on the opposite side or else our sign can possibly be wrong. So once I simplify this, we're going to get negative 7 as an answer. So just remember, guys, in this second example, if we have a negative sign out in front of the parentheses, it's going to change the signs of what's inside the parentheses. And if you have something where we have subtraction and multiplication, please make sure you guys do the multiplication first. It is a trick, and it, it does get the best of students. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We hope this video was helpful for you all. I'm Mr. Peters. Thank you guys for joining us. I'll do one with Mr. Peters.